Have you ever been in a situation where your emotions have gotten out of hand? Maybe you were rude to the cashier or you upset your waiter and the situation became even worse than before. I'm sure you've wished you had been able to regulate your emotions more effectively in these types of situations. A strategy called cognitive reappraisal of emotion may be the solution. This presentation will give you an overview of what cognitive reappraisal of emotion is and how it can be used to improve emotion regulation. Cognitive reappraisal of emotion is a type of emotion regulation strategy. It involves changing your thoughts to change how you feel about a situation. An individual learns to reinterpret or reappraise a situation in a different way with the aim of achieving a better emotional response. Emotion regulation theory. Cognitive reappraisal is part of the process model of emotion regulation theory, which describes how different emotion regulation strategies work. Specifically, it details when the strategies act in the emotional reaction development process. Cognitive reappraisal is an antecedent-focused emotion regulation strategy, which means it is implemented before the emotion has started developing. This contrasts with expressive suppression, a strategy that many people naturally turn to that attempts to suppress the emotion. This strategy is a response-focused strategy because it is concerned with regulating the emotional response after the emotion has developed. It often backfires, however. This is where cognitive reappraisal can be a more effective strategy as you are reinterpreting a situation before an emotional response has fully developed, as preventing an angry outburst is usually the best way to regulate it. How is this strategy useful for you? Cognitive reappraisal of emotion is most beneficial for healthy individuals who want to exert more control over their emotions. It is more effective and reliable than using methods that aim to suppress the emotions and it can be adapted to more situations. The more cognitive reappraisal is practiced and implemented into your daily life, the more effective it is in regulating emotions into the future. Criticisms of cognitive reappraisal. Cognitive reappraisal is often used in CBT therapy. However, studies have indicated that this strategy is difficult to implement for people suffering from depression and anxiety due to the way these disorders affect thought processes. It takes practice. Most people need to practice it in a neutral environment and plan ahead to remember how they will reappraise the situation. It can be difficult to reinterpret certain situations that may be very disappointing or upsetting for a person. It has been shown to work best for healthy individuals with no history of mental illness. In conclusion, our emotions can be regulated by changing our thoughts about certain situations. If we reinterpret events in a more positive way, we can experience more positive and desirable emotions about the events.